So how can 5G cloud connectivity enhance or improve radar sensing? And why is this improvement necessary or critical for autonomous driving? Yeah, thanks uh, very much for the question. So if you think about radar, right, it, the idea is to sort of uh, detect objects that are far away. And we are seeing more and more cars getting equipped with that radar. And they use the same spectrum. So what, what's happening is that there's more radar to radar interference, which is ongoing. And with connectivity, what you can do is that you can allow uh, the cloud to sort of take into account uh, inf information about the radars. And it can do some processing and come out with some new set of parameters or configurations that can allow the radars to cooperate. So it's cloud-based radar sensing. And what we show in our demo is that, you know, if you do such a dem uh, cooperative sensing, then the range that the radar can detect is much longer, basically, more than twice longer in a demo that we have seen, basically. So, so there's a clear benefit that connectivity provides to radar sensing. And obviously, radar is one of the key uh, sensors that will enable autonomous driving. And you know, connectivity helps with improving that range significantly, basically. So there's a clear advantage that connectivity brings to the table here. OK, great. And what about side link positioning? What is that? And how does that kind of help with the overall automotive positioning? Yeah, thanks. Uh, again, a great question. So um, side link positioning, um, so side link is device-to-device uh, -device communication, basically, which has been standardized in 3GPP since release 12. Uh, more recently, in release 18, 3GPP uh, uh, decided to study side link positioning. So the idea is device to device ranging, which is directly happening without going through the G node B. And uh, if you think about it, like you know, uh, any positioning or ranging application requires line of sight to the person that you're ranging to. Um, I mean, it helps a lot to have line of sight. Now, with side link, what happens is that there are so many devices that you can range to. So instead of ranging to just the G node B, uh, uh, in the system, you can range to any other device, basically. And for automotive positioning, this becomes quite critical because we can install roadside units that are just UEs, and you know you can, can range to them, basically. And uh, what we see is that the main benefit that we'll see of the side link ranging is in uh, environments that are GPS uh, denied, basically. So for example, automotives drive into these uh, heavy urban areas, basically downtowns where GPS uh, for positioning is challenging, um, or parking lots or tunnels, for example, like those cases. And what we'll see there is that you know the GPS does not work well. So um, what is the solution there is known as dead reckoning, which has been introduced. The idea there is that along with GPS, I combine them with sensors and to get some of the positioning back, basically. So GPS is pretty bad, but uh, if I use sensors, it becomes better. But we still see a significant gap compared to what the actual positioning is, basically. And that's where we think that side link uh, ranging can come in. So even uh, we can combine these sensors with like a, even with a single uh, roadside unit. So you don't need triangulation. You don't need like three or four devices. You can just combine with a single unit. And you'll see a significant benefit uh, in the positioning error as uh, for automotive, basically. So it, it you know, and uh, as we show in the videos, there's like a 2x to 3x gain in terms of um, the positioning error going down, basically, mm -hmm. in these uh, GPS denied scenarios. Great, and you mentioned roadside units or, or RSUs. So my last question is actually about that. And um, you spoke earlier about how AI-enabled RSUs can share its perception with vehicles nearby on the road, and this improves safety. So can you just elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, sure. Um, so, um, so one of the things that you know um, we have is like you know uh, where, where wireless sort of provides a benefit is that you can sort of see things, uh, observe things that are there that are not in line, line of sight, right? Basically, and having these RSUs at intersections that have cameras um, that you know a lot of those traffic cameras or intersections already have these traffic cameras, so they are observing these vehicles. Uh, they can convert this into object information, and you can send it over the air to the vehicle, basically. Um, so as we show in our demo that, you know, there's a vehicle that is approaching an intersection. Um, and I don't know before approaching the intersection whether there's a vehicle on the cross uh, road or not, basically. So it's not something that I'm aware, aware of. But putting a camera there, which is observing and sending that information uh, out over B2X signals to the vehicle sort of changes that, right? So I can, in my navigation app, I can already see that there are other vehicles that are coming at the crossroad, and that provides me 
uh, I'm already aware about it and that provides a safety element to uh, enhance safety basically. Okay, great. Thank you so much for this conversation. Thank you. Thank you.